Computers. We have a rough idea about what those are. They are devices that are all around us. They help us carrying out different tasks every day, and they come in all shapes, sizes and weights. But what exactly is a computer? That's what you will find out in this first video of our new series on computer configuration. Keep on watching. Plain and simple, a computer is an electronic device that processes data into information. So it can store data, retrieve data, edit data and output information. You use a computer to create documents, play games, send emails, look stuff up online or do something creative. When most people hear the word computer, they typically think of a desktop computer. These standard computers usually sit on a desk, hence the name, on top of your desk. They consist of a computer case, which is called the system unit, and a monitor, a keyboard, and a mouse. In contrast to a desktop, a laptop is portable, so you can use it almost anywhere. It often has about the same power as a desktop, but is much easier to carry around. And again, the name says it all. On top of your lap, a computer to use on your lap. Even more portable than a laptop is a tablet. Tablets don't have a physical keyboard, but a touchscreen that you tap and swipe to control the device. That makes tablets less suited for desk work, but ideal for multimedia, photo reports and all sorts of communication. Smartphones are actually just computers too, in pocket format. You can do a lot more with them than just make calls. You can use them to browse the internet, send emails, edit videos and photos, make presentations and so on. A very small portable computer is a smartwatch, literally a smart watch. Smartwatches help you analyze data about your movement, your health, your sleep, but you can also use them to send messages and do so much more. And all that right from your wrist with an extremely tiny computer. Now let's go from really small to really big. The server. Servers are a completely different kind of computer. They help other computers by storing and sending information. For example, every time you browse the internet, a server helps you by sending information your way. This goes for viewing web pages, downloading files and using email. But that's not all. Computers are found in many more devices, not just in laptops and smartphones. You'll find them in cars, smart fridges, washing machines and so on. In a car, for example, computers help with navigation, controlling speed, and contribute in different ways to driving more safely. Computers make our lives easier in many ways, even in devices where you wouldn't really expect them. As you can see, there are many different types of computers, from desktops to smartphones and from servers to computers built in all kinds of devices we don't really expect them to be in. Each type of computer plays an important role in our daily lives, and in our connected digital world, we simply can't do without them anymore. That's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Take a look around, we have a lot of other videos that might be of some interest to you. Also consider following us on our socials, Facebook, LinkedIn, etc. You'll find the links in the description.